It appears that Dr. Kenny Smiles is running a casting. The way you're talking to these women, it's disgusting. Red flags all the way around. Disgusted and absolutely embarrassed for you, Dr. Kenny. You're the kind of doctor who makes women scared to go under anesthesia. I can no longer publicly support Dr. Kenny. At all, actually. Another day, another creepy loser being exposed on TikTok. <laughs> what else is new? Literally, what else is new? Before I continue with the story, I want to let you know that everything that I say in this video is alleged and in my opinion, okay? Now, there's layers to the story, so you gotta pay attention. And I'm gonna do my best to explain everything because I literally just found out about this during my in the middle of the night bathroom break. So if there's anything I missed, leave it in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's talk about Dr. Kenny Smiles, also known as Dr. Kenny Wilstead from Smile Again Dental. He describes himself as a politically incorrect dentist where jokes are welcome. And apparently those jokes include racist ones. Who else besides the Indians do you think if it wasn't the Indians that we were fighting? Mexicans. Okay. Them dang illegals. <laughs> Don't post that. I'll get hate. I also said no. The last thing you posted. <laughs> That's so part of the song. People, I don't care. People are gonna think I'm racist. Not because it's part of a song. I say that all the time. Me too. But, but I'm in front of niggas. <laughs> I don't be saying in front of black people. And I'm sure you got a lot of black followers. Love you. And sexual harassment ones. When we give you a present, you have to wear it. Have sex with you? Yes. Oh. Okay. And degrading ones. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave so that you guys can do like your handicap stuff in privacy, okay? <laughs> he was also arrested for allegedly overprescribing medications to friends and patients, as well as using another dentist's DEA number to obtain medications for himself. According to the investigation conducted by DPS, Dr. Kenneth Wilstead prescribed over 800 hydrocodone pills between 2013 and 2014 to a personal friend. He also allegedly prescribed 30 days worth of sleeping pills to patients. Now, according to the report, prescribing that many sleep aids by a dentist is highly unusual and suspicious. He also has three board orders from 2015, 2019, and 2021. I found all of this information on Reddit, so I'll post the link in the description if you want more details. Everything that I just mentioned happened before what I'm about to talk about now. So let's just go back one year, 2022, and let's start with Mama Tot. If you don't know who Mama Ta is, she's a very huge, insanely popular TikToker who has over 12 million followers, and she's just a ray of sunshine. She shares about her life and just really spreads a lot of positivity. Last October, she posted a video talking about her traumatic experience with her dentist. Now this is where our little Dr. Kenny Smiles enters the picture. He stitched Mama Tot's video and told all of his followers to help him get her attention because he really wanted to help her from the goodness of his heart. You know, not for business exposure, just from the pure goodness of his heart. I want you all to help me get Mama Tot's attention. I just feel like we can do something for her. She does so much for, for truly everyone else, and I just don't think enough people turn that around on her. So I really want y'all to help me get her attention so that we can get her like the smile of her dreams. Well, he got what he wanted because it got her attention. And I couldn't find her original response video, but she said something along the lines of thank you so much. However, no thank you. She said she was fortunate enough to have dental insurance and to have the necessary funds to be able to fix her teeth, but there are so many people who need it more than her, and she would love if he could help one of those people out. Give this gift to somebody that truly needs it. So Dr. Kenny Smiles thinks of a great idea and with Mama Tot's help or endorsement or I don't really know what you call it, but just kind of like her support. And he decides to give away three smiles for free. And the three winners are going to be from Mama Tot's followers and she's going to get to pick the three lucky winners. Thanks to Mama Tot and the fact that she does like her partial and she enjoys like her smile as, as it is, well, I'm going to help three of her followers get a new smile instead. All they would have to do is make a video using the hashtag Mama Tot Smiles and introducing themselves, showing them their teeth, and explaining why they want a brand new smile. Tons and tons of people applied. Remember, Mama Tot has 12 million followers 
And these people are sharing their biggest insecurities, hoping to get chosen for a brand new smile. And by the way, I did not know that teeth were so expensive. I have a friend whose boyfriend just went through a similar situation and he finally saved up enough money to get his whole teeth fixed and it was $45,000. So yeah, I can only imagine how excited people were to enter this giveaway. One of the winners was Chelsea Marie, who is also speaking out right now about Dr. Kenny Smiles, but we're gonna come back to that. So last year, Chelsea was one of the three lucky winners, so she flew to Texas to get her new smile. Now, this is a video that Dr. Kenny posted on his account, thinking that it was so funny. All right, well, look at what the cow drug in. I'm talking about your outfit. I don't know what this is, but it's a first. He starts off by making fun of her outfit, which is so stupid. But I guess he's known for being such a dick and he's a jokester. He's the politically impolite dentist. Oh my gosh, your teeth actually match your jacket. They do. Yes, they do. <laughs> a little brown and white. Well, that clearly wasn't enough, so he decided to add another jab. Go ahead and put those babies in. Damn. Those are right out of a Halloween catalog. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> so funny, I forgot to laugh. <laughs> you ever like kiss a guy in those? Yeah, my boyfriend every day. You kiss your boyfriend with those in? That is a man for life. That, that he is. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked for the first time for sure. <laughs> Why would any professional person say this to a patient in a professional setting? This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And don't even start with the, oh, well, obviously the girl thought it was funny because she was laughing. Don't even, shut up, okay? It doesn't even fucking matter, you dumb fuck. Can you imagine how uncomfortable she might be when this dentist collaborates with this huge, insanely popular TikTok creator that she loves and offers her a new set of teeth that she couldn't afford this whole time? And on top of that, she's being filmed so that millions of people can watch. So yeah, if I were her, I'd be pretty f***ing nervous and I would shut my mouth and smile and look pretty and get my new teeth and leave. Well, despite the humiliation and the inappropriate comments he made to her, most people watched the video and chalked it up as him being a jerk. You know, he's a jerk, he's a douche, this is what he does, he always makes jokes, nah, 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 nah. yeah. Most people understandably focused on Chelsea's new smile and her newfound confidence. People praised Dr. Kenny for giving her all of that. Well, let's fast forward nine months to August 31st, 2023. Dr. Kenny makes an announcement on social media saying that he is holding auditions for his new show. And to enter, they have to make a video submission, introducing themselves, showing their teeth, sharing their story, very similar to the Mama Tots giveaway. I am looking for contestants that would benefit from a life-changing smile makeover. Okay, the hashtag is DKS casting, not casting couch. So be aware. <laughs> I mean, if you want to send one of those, it just your account might be canceled. <laughs> now, this is where things take a little bit of a turn. A week ago on September 7th, a creator named Annalie E. Lizzie submitted her video audition for Dr. Kenny's new TV show. Then she sent him a DM asking him to check out her submission video. A few days later, she noticed that he messaged her back and followed her back. She checked her DMs and he had responded and he wrote, yes, I saw it. So now she's super excited and she wrote back, I'm so happy you saw it. Sorry, I'm such an ugly crier. Then he replied, just wanted to have schmecks with you. At this point, she's super confused. She's wondering if this is one of his jokes. Cause again, it's normal for Dr. Kenny Smiles to make sexual jokes to his patients, remember? So she responds with a Kim K ugly crying gif. And then he responds with a smiling gif. Another creator named Taylin also submitted her audition for the show. And she got a response saying, thank you for your video. I will pass this along to Dr. Kenny, wishing you all the luck. Taylin's also excited to get a response. So she replies, thank you so much. The caption in my TikTok tells so much more of what I've experienced on this journey. And then she sends a link to her TikTok video. He then replies, what's your address and phone number? I'm gonna be deciding who makes the top 50 by making some trips to meet some in person. And please send 10 more pics of your size, shape, and stuff like that. This show is about a lot of things beyond teeth, so that'll help me. Clothing, optional. What the f 
Now, Mama Tot enters the chat. She makes a video stating she no longer supports Dr. Kenny in light of these messages. Uh, so here's the thing. Um, I appreciate every single thing that Dr. Kenny has done for a lot of people. And I know that he has changed lives in such a beautiful way. Such a beautiful way. And I will always be grateful and thankful for what he did for the three people that won the Mama Tot Smiles. Uh, I will forever be thankful. And so will they. And I am not speaking for they. I am speaking for me. But after what I just saw, I can no longer publicly support Dr. Kenny at all, actually. And I understand that when your account gets so large, other people might help you at times. My girlfriend, Lisa will answer a message for me if I tell her to. So I get that. We need a little bit of help. I've got a triple large account. So the fact that I only have one person that helps me, we're already like overloaded. So if this was not you that answered this message in that manner, you need to address it. If it was you, you certainly need to address it. And Chelsea, one of the three winners, is also speaking out about it. Disgusted and absolutely embarrassed for you, Dr. Kenny. Let me just go ahead and say this before we get started on this video. I am forever grateful for the smile and the opportunity that I was given, and I'll forever be thankful for that. But that does not excuse your shitty ass behavior. Another popular creator, who is also Mama Tot's friend, is also speaking out about it as well. Dr. Kenny smiles. I'm calling you out. I only recently started following Dr. Kinney myself based on a video that showed up on my FYP with him picking up an elderly lady. But I saw another video of him grinding on her that kind of creeped me out. Yesterday morning, Mama Tot texted me screenshots from a conversation that Dr. Kinney had with a female who was wanting to get her teeth fixed. This is not only unprofessional, it's f***ing predatorial. Many of the patients coming to him are struggling financially and they can't afford to get their teeth fixed. Like a lot of people, I thought Dr. Kenny was trying to do something good. Turns out he was just trying to get laid. Just reporting him to the Dental Association. Good luck with that, doctor. And you might want to take Mama Tot's name off of your page, out of your mouth, and get it away from your channel. She doesn't have anything to do with your scandals. In fact, it's pretty obvious that you just used her for clout, so it's time for you to get canceled. You're the kind of doctor who makes women scared to go under anesthesia, and I can see why. Your days of making fun of women and harassing them are over. Nobody in their right mind would trust you now. You might as well pack it up, sweet cheeks. You're done. This is everything that's happened so far, and I'm very, very curious as to how he's going to respond to all this. If I were to guess, I feel like he's going to say that he was hacked or that somebody on his team checking his messages took it too far. But come on, everything tracks, everything from his past and all the comments that he's made in all of his other videos. I saw another video floating around about like a young lady who was supposedly homeless. She brought her grandma. Now, I don't know about the homeless part. It's just something that I read. Um, so don't quote me on that. But she brought in her grandma and he was making really inappropriate comments about her grandma, who looked visibly uncomfortable. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you later.